Thank you very much for joining me today. It is P.I. McLeod with Marvel Puzzle Quest. Now, um, I'm streaming today for two reasons, but one is much bigger than the other. That big old green dude, Gargantos, Shumagorth, um, is in is in Marvel Puzzle Quest, but it's not really him we're here for. I wish it was, but I mean, we have to wait a few weeks, right? Um, actually, Moon Knight is available for us to pull in Latest Legends, so that's why we're here, but we need legendary tokens, right? And we can never have enough of them. And it just so happens that another Crash of the Titans is available. So let's get into it. There's a Crash of the Titans right here. And it's against four-star Captain Marvel. Once again, we're repeating the past. We did this already. I told you the virtues of Captain Marvel and how every one of her powers is pretty darn good. They put all of her powers into yellow. Um, so if a countdown did finish of hers... Um, she would have a big boost to all of her tiles out there, but really it's not going to happen that way. Um, it takes five turns for a count for her countdown to finish, or she'd have to get enough yellow, which isn't much. It's only five after all, uh, five AP to bring her black countdown down to zero. Uh, anyways, um, it's not going to happen. It just doesn't happen that way. And if it did, it'd be the worst board luck I've had in a while, and I've had some bad board luck lately. I'm sure some of you have seen. Anyways, um, as long as we don't match my own strongest color, she won't gain free AP. As long as you don't, as long as that same color isn't the same as hers, which is black, then I won't take damage and give her free AP. Um, and as long as she doesn't get eight black, she won't do her big ol' ability to me, which is honestly a real um, selling point of the character. Four-star Captain Marvel came on the scene with a lot of damage, a passive ability that nuked opponents for matching their favorite color, and a, and a passive that also buffed tiles um, just for countdowns reaching zero. She has a lot in her toolkit for why she was one of the earlier four-stars in the game. Um, she broke the mold kind of when that came around and nowadays she probably looks pale in comparison to some people but um she's still someone you can build a team and an idea around if you uh if you ever wanted to do something different that isn't current day meta anyways we're using the punisher remember this one big pun versus Mar uh, captain marvel you know guy with no powers and lots of guns or gun ability or gun knowledge sure against you know someone with unfathomable power makes sense right um once again if you don't remember from last time i put no stock into his blue all it does is create some strikes for a cost of eight and that's like even if i put it at five three strength 206 black tiles black strike tiles is not worth eight blue ap the friendly strike tile strength being extra 25 percent stronger which means that 206 would be like 256 not worth it okay it's just my opinion. You can take that for what you wish. Maybe it's better on a team that's built around it, but I think you could spend your energy better elsewhere. Um, his black does a good amount of damage for for it. It is 10 black to do this amount of damage. If he had other teammates and they go down, he gets his extra ability, which makes it cheaper and actually deadlier. Green is really good too. Stun allies for two turns and deals damage to the enemy team plus more damage for every down enemy. Here's the problem with this matchup. We have no teammates, so Punish is all, never gonna is always gonna be there at ten. We're never gonna get Army of One, even though I am literally an Army of One in this fight because I have no allies that went down or stunned. Um, Merciless Charge is only gonna get the base three thousand six hundred damage out of it because uh, there is no downed enemies alongside Captain Marvel. It's really the worst setup that Punisher can get, but we'll still pull it off. <laughs> Why? We just will. Don't worry, let's just get into it. You know, it helps that when you have your character champed. I mean, it does. But anyways, character effects on. It is a one-on-one -on -one fight after all, so let's get into it and let's get to that uh, that uh, pull session for Moon Knight that much faster, shall we? We need blues, we need greens, we need blacks. That means this one... Ooh, let's take the match five. 
that to that match five it was just staring at us in the face right um <clears throat> there's almost a match five on the left if i moved that yellow left almost it's really close there's like a few cascade options but none of them would get me ap that i care about and that's a big deal if it's not gonna get you ap you care about then why are you doing it i could match that match four of yellow up there but again i'd get one blue one green i don't know if it's worth my effort i'm just gonna take the blue she can have that match four of yellows she has no countdowns to bring down right now so as long as she doesn't get the black which I'm about to match, unfortunately, which will give her some black. Ugh. Oh, well. Let's just see what happens. See, I'm smacking myself in the face right now for that, and that's... That's okay. We'll make it through. I think this stuff happened last time, and, and we did fine. Uh, let's take the free black AP. It's only one, but I get rid of some of the yellow that she wants, too. We need greens, we need blues, we need blacks, and none of it's available. Um, we'll just take the Cascade then. And of course it gives her, well, she didn't take the black. <sighs> Question is, do I take the black? Mm, man, that's scary. I don't know. I guess I should. Oh, God. Here she goes. She needs one more black. So I really can't match anymore. I can't let her match anymore. Because then she'll get her big ability off. And she'll be able to fire it down. And there it is. <laughs> She's got the black she needed from that match five that showed up out of nowhere. Nice. Well, might as well fire this off. Makes me wish I put it at five now. Even though I talked down so badly about it. It's okay. We'll still be fine. Give me this green. This ability can hurt. She's going to fire her yellow off, though, next turn. And it's going to do 3,000 damage. And it's going to buff a strike. It's not the end of the world. They, they depowered her black ability and her green ability. So it's not going to hurt that much. That's basically the reason why we won. If she was really a 553 five, or a 355 five right now, honestly, she'd whip our butts. This is not a, a match that Punisher should win normally. So she has a much stronger strike time now, just so you can see. It does 490 now, and it did like, what, 60 or something before? It was piddly. Now it actually means something. It's got some oomph to it. Let's get some more strikes on the board ourselves. I guess we'll just make a cascade here. We got these strikes. We might as well make use of all that. Okay, no, thanks for getting rid of one of them. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks, Marvel. Not the not the company, the character. Take that one. There we go. Cascades are lovely when you have strike tiles out. We're almost ready to pull for that Moon Knight stuff. Really close. Just a couple of matches away from victory. Let's do this again. This is the most weapons expertise I've ever used in a single fight. That's because he should have Army of One active, but, you know, whatever. I don't make the rules. I just have to follow him. Ah, oh, one more match. There we go. Okay. So let's get our legendary token. Let's move on over to Moon Knight. There it is. Oh, righty then. You ready? I am. I'm kind of waiting on this. Move on down the list. Wait, is there anything else I should be pulling along the way? No, 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 no. Just this, huh? We got 37... Uh, 37. <laughs> Am I predicting the future or something? 36 legendary tokens here to spend. Um, here's the deal. Keep in mind, whatever we pull, uh, no matter how many crystals, 
Electras or Daredevils, whatever we want to call them, and Moon Knights that we pull uh, at the end, and we spend them all, all the covers we get, and any extra legendary tokens that we happen to pull with it, we use those too. They go towards the entire pull, you know, session today, okay? So we're starting with 36. We'll probably end with a couple more, but let's not hold our breath. Let's wait and see. One pull at a time. We're looking for Moon Knight, although we already do have one of them. But honestly, I'll take any three of them. We don't turn down five stars. Trademark, pending, all that junk. Let's go. Hey, Blob. I like Blob. I feel like I'm the guy who asked for him forever and they finally gave me what I wanted. I, I, I just don't need him right now. Okay, that's the opposite of what anyone needs. Whew. In the discussion of bad characters, he doesn't really come up that often, but he is not that good. <laughs> hey, Yandu. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, one of you three can show up. Not you, Peggy. We already got your cool costume and everything. We don't need to see you anymore. Colson. He's cool. I like him. I like him. I want a five star. <laughs> ah, Jugs. Jugs is always welcome in the roster. Medusa. Can't talk down about Medusa. Really can't talk down about Jugs either. Except for that he doesn't pair well with Okoye. You ever notice that? Okoye does not bo boost Juggernaut's damage from collateral. Don't believe me? Go test it. Venom. Hey, there's someone showed up to play. Let's do this. Cool. I'll take it. Audible sigh. Anyone else sigh themselves almost audibly when they see the pun they made there? I don't know. It's like, ugh. <laughs> and I like dad jokes. Don't get me wrong. Hey, back to back. That's always, always a wonderful, wonderful thing. Oh, it's Moon Knight. Nice. I'll take that. Good stuff. I mean, but it's not like I couldn't take it. Like, send it back. I don't want it. I want my token. No. Doc Ock. Very good character. Ooh, going to have another Shuri cover here with those shards. Nice. The other Moon Knight. <laughs> the not quite as hip and cool Moon Knight right now. Okay, Modoc. I really should watch that show. What, Patton Oswald voices him or something? I heard it was funny. Anyways. Hey, there we go. Another Electra. Another audible sigh. Do it with me. <sighs> We don't turn on a five star. <clears throat> I mean, I do think she, I have her like three, two, two or something. So, I mean, I could still use them. Another one is a back to back again. Don't. Hmm. Hmm. I hope I, uh, hmm, I hope the three that I talked about earlier wasn't three in her red really hope i don't want to do a save cover for a five star i don't want to but you know we don't turn on a five star no nope we don't it just becomes a save cover it's a bonus we earn later on okay thank you game thank you for the present another shuri well we got one with shards and a real cover too because i'm really close to getting i think more okoye shards out of her so it's always a nice thing. Karnak is fun. Still usable. Still relevant. Like uh, Shang-Chi Jr., you know? Hey, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shadow Dance. Yay. Something different. Not an audible sigh. See, I'm not sighing. You're not sighing. Yay. Good stuff. Monica Rambeau. They like giving me red powers today, don't they? Hmm. 
Tuck is pretty decent, honestly, when you use her correctly. Rhino can be fun, but he's very niche. I don't know. There's so many characters that chased away the Polaris meta that it almost seems like he's a little late to the party. Like, you know, there's so many other characters that do the job. Like, what do we need Rhino for now? Not to say, like, Rhino the character isn't cool. Honestly, I'm happy we have Rhino the character, but, you know, could have made him do something else. I don't know. Ugh. Speaking of someone who doesn't do enough, Hydra Stomper. Okay. Hey, another five star. What do you know? You know what I need to do? I need to like, like, oh, okay. Now that did it. I know I only, I have at least two in every one of her colors. Yikes. That's a saved cover. Thanks game. We don't, are you testing my, we don't turn on a five star rule? I think you are. Anyways, I'm going to happily accept it as as, as a generosity. Thank you. Oh, you're testing my generous, my generous thoughts. I don't know. Ooh, Hydra Stomper again. Thank you. So nice. I'll take more Negasonic over Hydra Stomper. That's for sure. But I could say that about a lot of characters too. Rhea Hill, hmm. I don't know. There's probably some combos I could do out there with her, but hmm. Mm. It's like she, everything she does, I could find someone that probably does it better without as much self-destruction. Just thinking out loud. Drax. Drax is good. That's a good guy right there. I like Drax. I wish I could find more synergy for him. Like, I don't know. Hey, it's my big guy again. Hey, Blob. I wish I could find, like, well, Blob and Drax. It's funny. They do go together, honestly. But I don't know. I wish I could find, like, a, like make a five star Drax or something. Give me. I want a better version of his passive, you know? So I think his passive is really cool. Just doesn't see full realization under what the game is like right now. Hey, Gamora. Joining the Guardians chat because we're talking about your buddy over there. Probably shouldn't say buddy. Another five-star cover. Love it. Can we get Crystal this time? I'll take Moon Knight. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to argue. It's not an audible sigh so yes thank you two more quake still has her uses and then finally okay red guardian so that's 36 pulls right we're going to spend them any legendary tokens we get we're going to spend right back into the machine okay see what else we can get out of this Let's do the count first. We got 36 of them. I'm going to open up a good old notepad on my PC here next to me. Uh, why? Because I want to just make sure I don't forget. Out of 36, we have, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 5 stars out of 36. That is good, good stuff. Um, I'm even going to go one step further. Just to make sure my numbers are correct on the ball. That's like a 19% pull rate approximately. Woo. Good. 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 That's good. It's really good. Probably going to make it worse by, you know, spending the extra legendaries we make. But hey, you know, we got to try. Train. Train it again. We got some crescent darts. That's all we got is crescent darts. Nothing else. I don't... I don't know what a black and a purple is. We just have crescent darts. We're gonna level them up. 300, nice. Okay, Electra, you like that red? I hope you like red. Boy, I really hope you like red. And some yellow. 533, three. two more covers away from being champable. Honestly, it wasn't shooting for her. Just luck is, it's all it is, just pure luck. But if I did champ her, of course I would try her. And of of course, 
I would find some sort of combo that I probably would like and tell you about. I say probably because not every five star ends up being that cool. Looking at some of you, like, like Archangel. Anyways, save that cover. Ugh. Ugh, save cover is one of three. Just, ugh. <laughs> not what I want to do. Anyways, okay, four star expenditure. Let's move it, move it. Move this. Speaking of move it, let's move my notepad to the side here. It's like in the way of my stream. There we go. Okay, get some CP. Because you know, it ain't gonna be long before Gargantos has to be pulled for. And we want all the CP we can get for that. Blob with an extra legendary. See? Blob's my boy. Love that dude. He provides. <laughs> More CP. More CP. Ah, okay, Hydra Stomper. You gave me some five-star shards. I guess I can't be too mad at you. Rhino with some CP. Monica with a legendary. Thank you, Monica. You hate Blob? The character or like the Marvel Puzzle Quest character, Lead Blast? Ooh, there's my Okoye shards. It's okay, Lead Blast. If you don't like them, I'm here to like them in your place. <laughs> the MPQ character, obviously, that's what we're talking about. Oh, well, yeah, I I, I remember him back from um, comics slash cartoons and video games, too, of course. So I kind of have a soft spot in my heart. He was like one of the earliest bosses in the first X-Men arcade game. Um, he busts out of a wall like nothing can move the blob. And I don't know, it's just... It's nostalgia for me. He's just this big fat guy, and his whole shtick is like, you can't move him. It's so simple, so easy. And I, for some reason, I love that. You had all these big superpower good guys, and like, they just like bounce off of them. I don't know. It's kind of humorous to me. Oh, you hate how he plays in the game? Hmm. Is it the countdown shtick that he does? Like, absorbing the things into him? Because uh, in my opinion, I think he works sp fantastically well with, uh, if you're a four-star player, that is, with Polaris and Rocket. He absorbs all those strike tiles, and he becomes super massive with uh, match damage. Um, but that's just how I view him. I don't use him for much else. He's more like um, a shtick for me, you know? But at least I could find a use for him because I can't find a use for Namor still. <laughs> well, Namor and many others. I should say many others. Is that fair? A few others. He interferes with players' AS how creation. He sucks with the attacks and strikes and protects them. Right, he does. But it's only two rows. Um, and to, in my opinion, she fills up the board really quick. And I could just turn that into match damage tiles. Um, potato, potato, I guess. Like, he becomes a match damage machine in in my view of things. Um, of course, I'm going to use Polaris more often with Okoye or something else. So, the odds of me using Blob, Polaris, Rocket in a common game are nil. It's just, when I do think of using them, that's how I use them. He's just a dick. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. He's not a direct counter. Um, I, I I honestly don't see him as a counter because you have better characters like like four star Doc Ock, like um, shoot, I don't want to say Rhino, but he's kind of there to do that sort of thing. Morbius is a great counter, um, but yeah. I think Blob is just there as another match damage option. Because you have people like Karnak. You have people like America Chavez, Ghost. 
Juggernaut that have match damage boosters. Dark Beast is a great one of those. And Blob can get stupid strong. Blob doesn't have a cap. Yeah. Uh, Thanos, yeah. I could see Thanos in a way. I mean, it, he only removes like one at a time when you get up there. I mean, she can definitely outpace him. But yeah, Morbius, I think, is one of the best ones for it. Oh, well, Doc Ock as well if you don't want, if you don't care about the damage output. Um, no, I see Blob more as a, instead of a Polaris counter, he's more like just a, a match damage dude. Um, because if you look at interferes, he just jumps on front when you don't want to target him. Yeah, okay, you, true. This is true, and he does, and that's kind of the point of him. He's supposed to be a tank, right? Um, I see him more like, um, if you look at Ghost, for example, her match damage is 300% higher. Karnak's match damage gets to be like, what, 500 and something percent higher. Um, Dark Beast's match damage is like 55% more for every black AP they have. Obviously, black AP caps at 30. Everyone has a match damage booster. Well, I should say everyone that has one. Blob doesn't have a cap. That's the one thing that I like about Blob and I have kept in my brain. If you want a match damage character that is unlimited match damage, it's literally Blob. He goes on forever. There's no hard cap. He can literally get stronger than a five star. And it's, I'm not saying that's the way to go. It's not meta. I just, that's something I keep in mind. Like if I, if I have a, some sort of neat detail to tell you about Blob, it's that. His match damage gets stupid strong. And frankly, that's better than some of the four stars that we have running around sometimes. But, I mean, that's if you want to use her, use him with someone like Polaris and Rocket or, you know, because you, you have to really abuse it. You have to abuse that factor if you want to see it. Anyways, I'm going to get my level up here. Um, what are we doing here? We have how many tokens? Four more. That's going to put my pulls up to 40. I had 36 when we started. Four more pulls to go. Hopefully a Moon Knight. Not a red Electra cover. <laughs> or Daredevil. I don't know what we call it. Whatever. And maybe a Crystal cover. That'd be really cool. None of the above right there. We'll take a nut. They want to give me red covers. They really do. And okay, Melinda. May I almost forgot what her cover looked like. I had to read her name first. Usually, I could tell by the cover, but forgot what Melinda May's looked like. There we go. There we go. I was gonna laugh and cry if it was a red Daredevil cover. Just saying. Ah, good to have a crystal cover in there. Nice. One more pull. And we got to spend these. Maybe we'll get another legendary token. Maybe. Low odds, but still. And a Spidey 299. I like Miguel O'Hara. Easy, easy. <clears throat> um, I think Melinda's best attribute, if I'm going to use her, is her stun for five. Five blue gets you a three-turn stun. And she has these mechanics that base on enemies being stunned and coming out of stun. So, um, yeah, Gertrude, the Runaways girl with the dinosaur. Um, Gertrude is who you're speaking of. Yeah, Melinda is good with a stun team, but that's about it. Like, I find that she's only good if you put her with fellow stunners. So, if you ever just feeling froggy and want to try it. Uh, Melinda, four star widow, and four star black cat. You have a stun on blue, a stun on purple, and a stun on black. Plus, widow makes all the moves cheaper when her yellow gets out. So, all of a sudden, you have really cheap stuns on three different colors, and you basically stun lock the enemy team into submission. But that's if I'm thinking of Melinda May, I'm thinking of that team and specifically. Uh, Gertrude, on the other hand, I've had fun with Gertrude. Um, yeah, no pun intended. Because um, Gertrude is basically like the new age four-star Deadpool. Uh, I'm going to bring her up real quick just to point it out. Come on. Come on down here. There she is, Gertrude. It's that yellow. It's all about this. Well, her purple's kind of good too. But that yellow. Uh, this yellow has a special wording in it that other defensive mechanics don't have. 
if Gertrude York's or an ally would like herself or an ally, okay? So like for example, four star Deadpool, the thing, characters like that, their and their ally has to be attacked. Gertrude herself can be ta targeted as well. Would take at least 10% of their current health and damage, not max health. Create a one turn yellow countdown tile that does damage. In other words, the more you take damage, the more often this will trigger because it's current health based. So those one turn countdowns go out there she claps back for that damage, and then she improves on tiles on top of it. Why is that cool? Um, because all of a sudden you can take her and four star Deadpool with his, and, and you know, I'll just bring him up just because. Uh, there he is. Four star Deadpool with X and four star. For these sort of teams, I would put it up to five. So Ally takes, you know, some damage. Obviously, one turn black countdown tile does more damage than what Gertrude states. And then you mix that with Okoye. I did not notice Spider Woman's cover was different right now. That's kind of cool. Anyways, where are you at? Clear the filters. Okoye, obviously, you know. All of a sudden, you have Okoye in the front tanking. She takes. X amount of damage, like Shang Chi punches her, Beta Ray Bill hits her, Colossus smashes into her. It's so easy in Five Star Land to get smacked really hard by one of these new meta characters, right? And Gertrude and Deadpool both fire off these countdowns, which are all powered by Okoye's Wakanda Forever. All of a sudden, one of your enemies is already dead, and it's turn two. It's ridiculous. I'm not saying she's meta. But if you ever want to clap back at a, at a strong Shang-Chi, Beta Ray Bill, Colossus, Apocalypse, you understand what I'm saying by now. It's ridiculous how fast that damage racks up because, because of Gertrude's easygoing defense mixed with Okoye's offensive passive. Um, that's just something I found, and I think it's really fun. Oh, and Black Knight is easy, the biggest scam ever, but at least he's a cool character. Biggest scam... Care to elaborate? I don't know what you mean by scam. I'm I'm in with uh, what you're saying. I just want to understand more. I honestly don't know a lot about Black Knight. Um, I have a friend who's a big fan, uh, a big fan of Black Knight. Um, one of my alliance members. Oh, he doesn't do damage. Um, yeah. I mean, he, he does some. He does, like, a little bit in the air. But no, I wouldn't count on him for damage. I think he's Throg's best friend. Because all he does is he goes airborne, and then while he's in the air, he hits people in the back. Um, wow. And then when, you, when Throg comes down, which his yellow is cheaper than Black Knight's, remember? Well, when you get charge tiles out there. All of a sudden, he does damage on charge tiles. Black Knight does damage on charge tiles. And, and of course, when Black Knight comes down from being airborne, he makes more charged tiles. So, like, him and Throg are just, like, buddies for some reason in this game. Um, once again, I wouldn't be using him every day. I would only use him if, and only if, like, I have a charge team I want to use. Yeah. Uh, Dane from above. It's cheap as it is, but I would rather use Throg's yellow, and he still gets the passives from this. Like, why would you not do Throg's Yellow mixed with this? That's just how I saw it. Um, you could also have fun if you put Throg, Black Knight, and um, uh, Icarus together. Because Throg will send all three of them up in the air. All of a sudden, Icarus is making matches while everybody's airborne. And smacking people in the back. Black Knight is smacking people in the back. Then they all come down from the sky doing big damage. Black Knight puts more charge tiles up. Rinse and repeat. That's how I saw it, and it's kind of fun if you get it to work. Um, it just needs a little yellow AP to get started. It does very low down like some one star, two star character. <laughs> yeah, Throg does all the all those stuff there. You're using Black Knight just for his passives. That's all it is. You're not Black Knight's green meh meh at best. <laughs> um it's only there to create some extra charge tiles if you need to, but once again, Throg's green is better. And nighttime is okay. Um, and black is nice if you want another way to, like, cheese out a victory. Like, oh, no, I'm going to die, but he doesn't. But 
honestly, nah. It's all about that yellow passive and mixing with Throg. If you have to use Blind, it's it's if. I'm saying all this. Let's say Black Knight comes up and you know he will and he's essential. Go ahead. You know you might as well mix him up with the people you know that work with him. I'm I'm more of a glass half full sort of guy, you know. Let's put this crystal cover in. Uh, which that brings me to 8 out of 40 covers, right? Yeah, that's the math. Numbers work. And 8 out of 40? Oh, that's a much... That's that's a pretty good statistic, right? That's 20%. So, that's a very good pull rate. When out of a game, it's supposed to be like 15% for this stuff. Very nice. Any more legendary tokens? Any more? Nope. Nobody wanted to deliver... So, what do we got shards-wise? Shuri, what you giving me? Some ISO. Ah, oh, so close to more shards for Okoye. And Invisible Woman. Thank you, MPQ. Happy Mother's Day to you and yours as well. I'll take the command points. We're looking at a 771 horde of command points right now. Not bad at all. We'll get you soon, Gargantos. We'll get to you. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. That's all I got. I spent my hoard. We have no more legendary tokens left. You can look, nothing in my pocket, nothing up my sleeves. We're spent for now. We're waiting for, what, Gargantos to hit his own latest legend store? No, not latest legends, his own CP store, you know. And then we'll spend this CP hoard we've been building up. See who we can get out of it. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Oh, I do want the Cthulhu, heck yeah. Gargantos, this guy? Have you seen this right here? I mean, I'm not sure what your roster looks like, Lead Blast, but I'm I look at this right here. Destroys enemy AP in color and recreates itself. If enemy has no AP in that color, that deals 664 permanent damage. Okay. So I look at that. And then I look at Okoye, what I just stated earlier about her passive adding on to damage. Heck yeah. I don't care about the permanent damage. I care about that it just does damage every turn if the enemy has no AP in it. You guess what enemy has no AP in? They, they have no AP at the beginning of a fight. They literally have zero. So might as well try to rack up more damage. Um, and he puts up more than one and some sort of thing. There it is. It's like something with, what is it? Does he make two on something? If Gargantus is invisible at the start of the turn, create an extra tentacle thrash tile up to three max. That's it. That's what I was looking for. So I'm looking at that. I'm looking at maxing this with Okoye or Apocalypse's damage boosters um, and maybe putting in Null because he does the same stuff every turn doing damage to somebody. So I'm trying to think of quick damage ways without always relying on a mortal Hulk. Does that make sense? Right? Right? Permanent damage deals are good versus Apocalypse and Alliance. You're right. In the Alliance event, I, I wouldn't blame you on that at all. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for more ways, more ways than the standard meta. That's all I That's all I really do in this. I keep trying to find ways around people and you'd be surprised what you find when you're willing to look around your roster and dig around a bit. There's a lot of fun combos out there. Um, just gotta play. So... Anyways, fun conversation, Lead Blast. I like having a good combo with someone. Even if we're down to the same wavelength, that's awesome. Like, uh, I don't mind chatting about this stuff all day. When you have this many days in the game, it's fun to talk about it with people. <laughs> so, very cool. Um, that's about it. I'm going to log off because, honestly, tomorrow or today right now in my time zone is Mother's Day. I got to get some sleep. I got to wake up with my kids. I got to treat my wife really good, as all of us should on Mother's Day. So I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Thanks for joining Lead Blast.